Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to be starting the game shortly. We have a few illuminaries at the ballpark. I'd like to say hello to Tabletop Baseball Plus. Check out that wonderful channel. Also, hello to Random Human 19 and Clinton Parks. Random Human 19 says, Do the cool picks and player photos photos excuse me come with the game no i loaded them in it's not that hard though clinton parks excuse me how can i play 1980 pittsburgh at st louis if i'm not listening to you and also at the ballpark here in the borough of brooklyn cp cards and dice one of the biggest mets fans online and all in all a wonderful human being tony check out his wonderful channel philip reynolds is at the ballpark so let's get started. A little disclaimer, there might be some pauses in the action. I have to sometimes take care of real life matters with my dad, but we'll start the game. And we're going to continue. This is Action PC Baseball 2020 version. And it's the 1975 Cincinnati Reds traveling to the borough of Brooklyn to take on the 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers. It's the Big Red Machine versus Dem Bum. All righty, this should be fun. Robbie Wartberg is also at the ballpark. Hope all is well. Check out his channel. ID Gesture, another wonderful channel. Please check out all the content creators in the chat. And without any further ado, Dale Longsdale is at the ballpark. Let's play ball. Thank you very much for spending some time. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. All right, this is opening day in Brooklyn, and this is Washington Park for the visiting Cincinnati Reds of 1975. Pete Rose leads off. He'll play third base. Ken Griffey Sr. is in right field. He'll bat second. Little Joe Morgan plays second base. He'll bat third. Johnny Bench will bat fourth and do the catching. Tony Perez TPs at first base, batting fifth. Speak softly, carry a big boomstick. George Foster bats sixth in left field. Cesar Geronimo is in center. He'll bat seventh. Davey Concepcion's at short, batting eighth. Don Gullett will do the pitching, and he will bat ninth. For the Brooklyn Dodgers of 1899, Keeler's in right field, leading things off. Daly's at second base, followed by Kelly. The cleanup hitter is Casey. He's playing third. Dollins at short. Farrell's doing the catching. Batting seventh at first base is Anderson. Jones is batting eighth and playing center field. On the mound is Jay Hughes. And a partridge in a pear tree. So here we go. Pete Rose to lead things off. In 1975, Rose batted 317 with seven homers and 74 ribbies. Hughes is ready. He's on the mound, 28-6 and six with a 2.68 earned run average. Behind the plate, Duke Farrell. He looks like he's had a few beer and hot dogs. Six defensive range, six arm. Doc Casey's at third, not much range there. He's a three. Bill Donlin, very good range. He's an eight at short. Daly, that's Tom Daly. No, not the mayor of Chicago. He's at second base. He's a seven, so up the middle they're pretty strong. And on the corners, not so bueno. John Anderson's a three. Out and left, you have Joe Kelly, a five range, four arm. In center field, you have Fielder Jones, how appropriate, a seven range, a four arm. And Willie Keeler is in right, a four range and a six arm. All right, here's the pitch to use who walks a ton of batters. I'm sorry, the pitch from Hughes to Rose. And we have to change that option. I'm not playing as both teams. I am playing as the Brooklyn Dodgers. Here's the pitch to Charlie Hustle. Ground ball, slowly hit to Casey. Casey charged it, throw, and Charlie Hustle. Pete Rose beats it out. That's an infield hit. So Rose is at first, and here comes Ken Griffey Sr. Back when he was only known as Ken Griffey. 305, four homers, 46 ribbies, left handed batter. Anderson holding Rose on. Hughes throws over. Anderson applies the tag. And Rose just gets, just gets back. 
Farrell sets the target, the pitch to Griffey. And he strikes him out. Fooled badly on the one-two count. Pitch at the knees. One out, one on for little Joe Morgan. Morgan, 327, 17 homers, 94 ribbies. Rose takes his lead at first. Use looks towards first. Now in at the plate. He rocks and deals to Morgan. Ground ball up the middle. Dolan has it. Fires to Anderson for out number two. Rose advances to second. Rose was off on the pitch. So with two outs, Charlie hustles in scoring position. Here comes Johnny Bench. Considered the greatest catcher ever. 283, 28 homers, 110 ribbies. Right-handed batter. The wind-up and the pitch to Bench. And he strikes him out! So the infield hit does not hurt. We go to the bottom of the first. Scoreless here in Brooklyn at Washington Park. Due up for the 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers, Keeler, Daly, and Kelly. And here is Willie Keeler, right fielder, 379, one homer, 61 ribbies. Don Gullett is up on the bump for the Cincinnati Reds. And we have phone delay. Why not? And we are back from phone delay. Thank you for your patience. So Don Gullett's on the mound, 15 and 4, 2.42 earned run average. Behind the plate, Johnny Bench. That's all you have to say. Johnny Bench, nine defensive range, nine arm. Pete Rose, average at third, but he played many a position in his day. Concepcion, outstanding at short, nine out of ten. Morgan, nine out of ten. And Perez, five out of ten. So again, up the middle, like the Dodgers, the Reds are very strong on the corners, average. Foster's in left, 7 out of 10 range, 6 out of 10 arms. Cesar Geronimo, 10 and a 10. He's absolutely outstanding. And Griffey, above average in right, 6 and a 6. Todd B's at the ballpark. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. And here is Willie Keeler. Keeler, 379, 1 homer, 61 ribbies. The pitch to Keeler. He's swinging away. That's a fly ball deep to center field. Geronimo on the run. He makes the catch. One down. And here's Tom Daly. 313, 5 homers, 88 ribbies, right-handed batter. Bench sets the target. Gullet rocks and fires. Daly swings. That's a shot to left center field. Daly takes a wide turn, but goes back to first. So a one-out single for Daly. Perez will hold him on, and here comes Joe Kelly. Kelly, 325, 6 homers, 93 ribbies. 10 out of 10 when it comes to bunting. He's going to be swinging away, though. Kelly swings. Ground ball. Concepcion fires to Perez. That's going to be out number two, but Daly will take second. Concepcion ranging towards that second base bag, but Daly had a great jump. He 
took the sure out at first. So two outs. Daly's in scoring position. He'll have a few extra steps with two outs. And now striding to the plate for the 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers is Doc Casey, the third baseman, 269, one homer, and 43 ribbies at the ballpark. Sportsman Z. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel. He's doing a replay. Um, well, he, he replayed the 1979 playoffs, so check those out. And I'm not going to give that away in case you want to watch that. And he has, after he did the playoff series, the World Series. So it is not as played. And there's nothing wrong with that. So as long as you... I, I'm enjoying it. I've enjoyed those games. So thank you very much, Sportsman Z. All right, here's Doc Casey. Can he give the Dodgers an, an early lead here? Gullet. Nods his head, bench sets a target, the pitch to the Doc. Will he have with the Doc order? That's a deep fly ball down the left field line and foul. He gave it a ride. 0-2 count now. Daly will be off on contact. Those few extra steps could be crucial here. If the ball's hit to center, Geronimo has a 10 R. Casey chokes up just a bit. Bench wiggles the fingers. Gullet acknowledges with a quick nod of the head. Here's the pitch homeward bound. Ground ball, Concepcion ranging to his left. Strong throw to Perez, and the side is retired. Dodgers strand a runner at second, as did the Reds. We go to the top of the second, scoreless here at Washington Park in the borough of Brooklyn. Due up for the big red machine of 1975, Perez, Foster, and Geronimo. Tony Perez, TP. 282, 20 homers, 109 ribbies, right-handed batter, Foster on deck. Hughes is back up on the bump. He is ready to work. He deals to Perez. Fly ball, shallow left. Kelly comes racing in, makes the basket catch, one down. That brings up, speaks softly, carry a big boomstick, George Foster. Todd Beast says, oh, I spot a 1975 Topps card of Joe Morgan. You are correct. 1975 card, 1974 season. Foster in 75 for the Big Red Machine. Batted 300. 23 homers, 78 ribbies. And he threw, I believe it was Denny Doyle out at the plate in game six. When Denny Doyle thought Don Zimmer said, Don Zimmer said, go, go, go. Zimmer said, no, no, no. I bet you he did say go, go, go. It was Zimmer, the gerbil. Here's the pitch to Foster. Ground ball. Dolan charges it. Fires the first. And Foster is out. Nice stretch by Anderson. Oh, Foster thought he beat it out. So there are two outs now. Base is empty for Cesar Geronimo. He's a 7 out of 10 bunter. 257. Six homers, 53 ribbies. I think we will play corners in. Again, I'm playing as the Dodgers. The Action PC Baseball Sim Engine 2020 as the 75 Reds. So Casey in at third, Anderson in at first. Hughes looking for a 1 2 3 inning. Geronimo stands in his way. Farrell sets the target. The pitch to Cesar Geronimo. Ground ball up the middle. Daly backhands it towards the bag, throws the first, and the side is retired. We go to the bottom of the second. Scoreless here at Washington Park in Brooklyn. Due up for the 1899 Dodgers, Dolan, Farrell, and Anderson. Bill Dolan, 283, four home runs, 76 ribbies, right-handed batter. Gullet picks up the sign from bench. He deals to Dolan. Fly ball, shallow right. Griffey makes the catch, one out. And here comes Duke Farrell. Did you say hot dog and a beer? Well, you mean Duke Farrell. Farrell, 299, two homers, 55 ribbies. The lefty gullet peers in. Now he deals. And he walked Farrell. So Farrell's at first. AJPS12 is at the ballpark. Hope all is well, my friend. Thank you for joining our wonderful crew here in the chat. So Farrell's at first. Perez will hold him on. Not much of a base stealer. 21% chance. And here comes John Anderson. No, not the John Anderson. John Anderson, he ran for president as an independent in the 80s, I believe. 
269, four home runs, 92 ribbies. We're going to play unorthodox. Hit and run. There goes Farrell. Anderson sends that ball down the right field line and foul. Souvenir for a fine young fan here in the borough of Brooklyn. So it's a 2-1 count. Hit and run again. There goes Farrell. Anderson swings. Foul ball this time down the left field line. It's a 2-2 count. Hit and run again. Popped up foul. Perez going towards the stand. Did he make the catch? No, he runs out of room. Hit and run will be taken off now. Perez still holding Farrell on. Bench sets the target. The pitch from Gullet. And Anderson walks, so that was quite a battle. First and second. Bench steps out in front of the plate. Tells Gullet to hit the damn target. Bench not happy with Gullet. So Farrell's at second. Anderson's at first. And here comes Fielder Jones. That's quite appropriate for a baseball player, the name. 285, two homers, 38 ribbies. He's a left-handed batter. Concepcion and Morgan hoping to turn two up the middle. Here's the pitch from Gullet to Jones. Fly ball, right center field, Griffey on the run, and he makes the catch. What a catch. Farrell tags up and goes to third. Tremendous catch by Ken Griffey. First and third, two outs, and here comes the pitcher. Jay Hughes, don't rock the boat, baby. 252, no homers, 14 ribbies. Can he help his own cause and the cause of the Brooklyn Dodgers? Gullet deals quickly to his counterpart, Hughes. And that's a base hit to left. Hughes comes through in the clutch. Anderson, 75% chance of taking third. He's going to try it. There's the throw, and he is safe. Hughes advances to second. 1-0 for the Brooklyn Dodgers. So Hughes did rock Gullet's boat, and we have a 1-0 lead. Anderson at third, Hughes at second, top of the order, Willie Keeler. Keeler is 0 for 1. The gull gullet asks for time, it's granted. As he takes some mud out of his cleats, it looks like. The weather here is absolutely wonderful. As we wait for Don Gullet. 67 degrees, wind 7 miles out to right field, participate precipitation excuse me none it's a sunny day in the borough of Brooklyn. all right gullet back up on the bump he rocks and deals to keeler ground ball base hit right side and through two run score anderson and Hughes come in three nothing brooklyn So Keeler comes through in the clutch with a two-out single, and that will bring up Tom Daly. Daly's one for one. Perez holding Keeler on. Gullet on the ropes. Bench not really happy with Gullet. He wiggles the fingers, sets the target, the pitch to Daly. And that's a base hit to left. Two-out damage continues. Keeler goes first to third. The Brooklyn Dodgers have come to win. And that will bring up Joe Kelly. Gullet on the ropes. Kelly looking for the knockout blow. Casey on deck. Bench pounding the mitt, imploring Gullet to hit the target. The windup and the pitch to Kelly. Base hit to right. The two out shenanigans continue, as ID Gesture would say. And it's 4 0 going first to third is Daly. How much longer were Captain Hook, Sparky Anderson stick with Gullet? Here comes Doc Casey. I don't think he's going to have what Gullet has ordered. Dolan's on deck. Casey's 0 for 1. He awaits the Gullet offering. Pitch homeward bound. And swing and a miss. And the side is mercifully retired. But the Brooklyn Dodgers score 4. We go to the top of the third. The 1899 Dodgers 4. The Big Red Machine Cincinnati Reds of 1975. Nothing. Do up for the Reds. Concepcion. Gullet and Rose to face Hughes. Davey Concepcion, 274, five homers, 49 ribbies. Right handed batter. Corners will play in. He's a very good bunter. Here's the pitch to Davey. 
And Concepcion rips our shot, and that's going to be extra bases. It's a double to right center field. Keeler couldn't get over there in time. And Jones could not cut it off. So a leadoff double. Here come the big red machine. Here's Don Gullett. I think he's going to be sacrificing. We're going to go aggressive to Gullett. He puts the bunt down. Farrell has it. He throws the third. And Concepcion is gunned out. Hughes came inside with a fastball. Actually a slider, excuse me. Really came in tight. Gullett put the bunt down, but not far enough from hot dog and beer, man. Farrell, he picked it up. Like it was a beer falling fire to Casey who applied the tag to Concepcion and he is out. So Gullet at first, Sparky Anderson going spastic in the Reds dugout and here comes Pete Rose who's one for one. The pitch to Charlie Hustle. Oh, they plunked him! Wow! Use that slider got away from him. Rose none too happy with it. Use, well, I can't say what Use told him but... It was some colorful language, that's all I'll say. It was not Christmas spirit, that's for sure. So Gullet at second, Rose at first, one out. Here comes Ken Griffey. Griffey made a very nice catch in right center field. Hughes hoping to serve up a double play ball. Griffey digs in that left-hander's batter's box. The pitch to Griff. And he walked him. This is where Hughes can get in trouble. Hughes walked 119 batters in 1899. Only struck out 99. Here comes little Joe Morgan. If little Joe Morgan gets a hold of one, we have a 4-4 ball game. One out, bases juiced. Morgan at the plate. He's 0 for 1. He grounded to short. Dolan and Daly hoping for that inning-ending double play. Here's the pitch to little Joe Morgan. Morgan, line shot to Casey. Great reaction by Casey at the hot corner. Two down. And now Johnny Bench. Moment of truth for Bench. He's 0 for 1. He was a strikeout victim. Bases full of reds. Gullet at third. Rose at second. Griffey at first. Hughes on the mound. Now he steps off the mound. He rubs up the baseball. Puts it back in his mitt. He's back up on the bump. Peers in at Farrell. He rocks and deals to Bench. And he strikes him out. He gets Johnny Bench for a second time. Bench, oh my lord. He can't believe it. The Reds load it up but cannot score. We go to the bottom of the third here in the borough of Brooklyn at Washington Park. 3-0 Dodgers. Todd B says Rose will sign the hit-by-pitch ball for just $99.99. .99. Todd B, you are correct. Do up for the Dodgers. Dolan, Farrell, and Anderson to face Don Gullett. Gullett was roughed up in the bottom of the second. Most of the damage came with two outs. Here's Donlin. He is 0 for 1. Bench still not, not very happy. Not very happy with himself. Striking out with the bases loaded second time. He's gone down via the K. The wind up and the pitch from Gullett. Dolan swings. Ground ball up the middle. Morgan makes a diving stop. Pops up and throws to Perez. One down. Morgan robs Dolan. He's now 0 for 2. And here comes Duke Farrell. Look at that man. Look at him. Look at him. A pitcher of an athlete. Farrell walked his first time up. Pounced on that bunt like it was a hot dog and a beer. And threw out Concepcion at third. The pitch to Farrell. Fly ball deep left center field, but George Foster makes a fine running catch. Two down. And that will bring up John Anderson. Anderson's Anderson walked his first time up. Gullet looking for a one, two, three inning. He nods his head, arms down to his chest. The wind up and the pitch. Anderson ground ball to Rose. Rose fires to Perez. And one, two, three go the Dodgers. We go to the top of the fourth, 4 0 Brooklyn. Due up for the big red machine of 1975, Perez, Foster, and Geronimo. Perez is 0 for 1. He flew to shallow left. Used back up on the bump, 54 pitches, good for 145. Perez, right handed batter. Farrell sets the target, the pitch to Perez. And he strikes him out! Hughes is in a zone. That was a fastball. 
On the one-two count, Perez couldn't pull the trigger. Hughes has mixed up his pitches and speeds quite well. Here's George Foster. He's 0 for 1. He grounded to Dolan at short. Foster awaits the Hughes offering. He won't have to wait long. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Dolan ranging towards the second base bag. Throws to Anderson. Two away. Second time Foster's grounded to short. Todd B says Farrell needs to get in that Nathan hot dog eating contest. Well, unbeknownst to us, he has won it, we have been told here in the booth. So two out space is empty as we have Todd B reporting for the channel at the ballpark. Cesar Geronimo is 0 for 1. 7 out of 10 bunt here, but we're going to play the infield norm. Farrell, big smile on his face behind that plate. Here's the pitch to Geronimo. Ground ball. Dolan makes a diving stop. Pops up like it's nothing. Throws a strike to Anderson. The side is retired. My God, Dolan showing cat-like quickness there. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 4 nothing Brooklyn. They're trying to win an opening day for their fans here in the borough at Washington Park. Do up for the Dodgers. Jones, Hughes, and Keeler. Jones is 0 for 1. Gullet, 64 pitches. Good for 120. Bench behind the plate. Gullet's ready. He deals to Jones. Jones swing, ground ball to Morgan. Morgan throws to Perez, one out. So Gullet has settled in after that hiccup inning in the bottom of the second. Here's Hughes. Hughes is one for one. He's knocked in a run. Can he go two for two? The wind up and the pitch. Use fly ball, Griffey, foul. Down the right field line, 0-2 count to use. Bench goes through the signs. Gullet quickly nods his head. He kicks and fires. And that's a shot to center. Use is two for two. How do you do? So Use is on with one out, and here comes Willie Keeler. Keeler is flown to center. And singled, knocking in two runs. We're going to play unorthodox. There's a hit and run. There goes Hughes. Keeler swinging a miss. Hughes is out. Concepcion applies the tag. Hughes thought he got in there. Brooklyn a bit aggressive on that, but why not? So two outs, base is empty. The count's 2-1 to Keeler. He digs in that left-hander's batter's box. Bench. Sets the target. Here's the pitch. Keeler swinging a miss, and the side is retired. So the Dodgers run themselves out of that inning. Robbie Warbrooks is playing a tournament using the 1982 season in 4th Street Baseball. Ooh, excellent. How does that go? Clinton Parks. Farrell looks like an older D-Day from Animal House. Yes, he does. He does. Oh, my God, he does. He does look like D-Day from Animal House. That's hilarious. Good call there, Clinton. What's his real name? What's that actor's real name? He got very heavy later in life. Oh, my God. I, I can see. I can't think of his real name. Yeah, he does look like D-Day. That's Clinton Parks reporting from the ballpark. Concepcion. Gullet. I shall be back in a moment.
And we are back. Thank you for your patience. Kurt Berglund's at the ballpark. Hope all is well. Check out that great channel. All right. Back from station identification break. My father says hello to everybody. So it's Concepcion, Gullet, and Rose. Concepcion is one for one. Corners move in. He's an excellent punter. Here's the pitch from Hughes to Concepcion. And he walked him. See, that walk bugaboo will come back to haunt Hughes, I believe. So here is Gullet. I think we're going to go aggressive. Gullet puts the bunt down. Farrell has it. He fires to second. It's a double play. Did they get Gullet? No. Holy cow. Gullet cannot move the runners over. Farrell, my God, pouncing on it like it's a beer and a hot dog. Watch this. Farrell quickly out from behind the plate. Fires to Dolan. Concepcion went in high. Couldn't get a lot on that throw to Anderson, so they don't complete two. Oh, I do cherish my dad. Clinton, thank you for the kind words. So one out, one on. Gullet again fails to advance the runner. Here's Pete Rose. He's one for one. He has an infield hit, and he was hit by a, a pitch. Let's see how Hughes handle, handles the switch hitting Rose this time. Pitch homeward bound to Charlie Hustle. Rose, ground ball. Dolan ranging to his left. To Daly. Daly, quick turn to Anderson. Six to four to three. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Four nothing Brooklyn. They look sharp here on opening day. Jake Cruz is at the ballpark. How you doing, my friend? Due up for the 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers. Daly, Kelly, and Casey to face Don Gullett. Gullett had that hiccup inning. In the bottom of the second, thus the Dodgers lead 4-0. Daly's 2 for 2. Kelly on deck. Bench goes through the signs. Here's the pitch to Daly. And Daly walks. Daly walks. As patience proves prudent. So he's at first, and here comes Joe Kelly. Here's the sack bunt. Kelly puts it down. Gullet fields it. His only play is the first. Morgan covers on the wheel play. One down. But unlike Gullet, Kelly was able to put down the sacrifice bunt. So Daly's in scoring position for Doc Casey. He's 0 for 2. He's hoping to have what the Doc ordered. Trying to make it 5-0 here. If they can do that, the Reds cannot tie it with a one swing of the bat. Here's the pitch to the Doc. And that's a shot. To left, Daly hits third, and they'll wave him around. Here's the throw by Foster. Daly is out! Oh, my Lord. Foster got a good jump on the ball. Played it on one hop. Fired a strike to Bench, who plants the tag on Daly. So two outs. Casey does get his first hit, but no RBI. So Gullet happy about that. And now he'll have to face the shortstop, Bill Dolan. Dolan is 0 for 2. Casey's at first. Perez holding him on. Gullet shakes off Bench. Oh, that does not please Bench. Now he nods his head, arms down to his chest. He rocks and deals to Dolan. Dolan base. Oh, Gullet snares a ball headed up the middle. He throws to Perez, and the side is retired. Gullet flashing the leather up on the bump. We go to the top of the six. Due up for the big red machine. Griffey, Morgan, and Bench. If anyone gets on, Perez. 4-0 Brooklyn. Griffey is 0-1. for 1. He has struck out and walked. Griffey, left-handed batter. Farrell sets the target. The pitch from Hughes to Griffey. Fly ball to left. Kelly ranging a bit to his left. Makes the catch. One down. That brings up little Joe Morgan. He's 0 for 2. Another left-handed stick that Hughes must face. The righty's ready to work. He deals to Morgan. And he walked him. So that walk bugaboo. He's walked three, struck out four. And here's Johnny Bench. Bench struck out with the bases loaded. In fact, he struck out two times. He's 0 for 2. Hughes hoping for the pitcher's best friend. A double play ball here. The pitch to bench. Foul ball down the right field line. 
Robbie Wartburg says, big moment in 1982 tournament that he's playing. Group A, Tigers 2, White Sox nothing, top of the eighth. White Sox with the bases loaded and two out and Harold Baines at bat. Appa Brian is at the ballpark. Check out that wonderful channel. He just completed his 1964 World Series replay using Appa Baseball. He's also doing a 1964 season random games. It's a lot of fun. As Appa Brian says, bench blocked uh, the plate. He was not scoring. No how. You are correct, Appa Brian. All right, 2-2 two -two count on Johnny. One out. Morgan's at first. Hughes looks to first. Anderson holding Morgan on. And he's going to throw over there. Morgan, 94% chance. Morgan gets back, goes down to a 54% chance. Farrell sets the target. The pitcher is counterpart, Johnny Bench. Bench, base hit. Left center field. Jones cuts it off. Morgan holds at second. Didn't want to chance it. Reds down by four. Two on, one out for Tony Perez. Perez is 0 for 2. Perez had 20 home runs and 109 runners driven in in 75. Hughes rubbing up the baseball. Now he's back up on the bump, towing the rubber. Peers in at Farrell. The pitch to Perez. Farrell wants to have a word with him first. Now the pitch to Perez. They come inside. Perez sends that ball deep to left, but Kelly's there. Morgan tags the throw to third. Not in time. So Kelly was perfectly positioned in left. There's two down now. Robbie Wartburg says Baines leaves them loaded as he flies out to left to end the inning. Philip Reynolds wanting a homer here. And here's George Foster. He's 0 for 2. If Foster goes yard, it's a 4 to 3 game. They will cut into Brooklyn's lead. 4 0 Brooklyn. Top of the sixth. Here's the pitch to Foster. Ground ball. Dolan diving. Stop. Long throw to Anderson. And the side is retired. Dolan's been absolutely marvelous at short. The Reds squander another big opportunity. We go to the bottom of the six. The 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers four. The 75 Big Red Machine Cincinnati Reds nothing. And there he is. There he is. Duke Farrell. He's 0 for 1. But he's been absolutely outstanding behind that plate. Larry Harris says, come on, Reds. Kirk Berglund. Farrell's face looks like mine the last time I had my pipes checked out. Here's the pitch to Farrell. And Farrell grounds it to Rose. Rose fires to Perez. One down. Farrell takes a beeline back to the dugout, but takes a quick stop. Visits a fan. Takes a bite out of his hot dog and a swig of beer. Here's John Anderson. He's 0 for 1. He is walked and grounded to third. Gullet works quickly to Anderson. Fly ball. Center field. Geronimo on the move. Makes the catch. Two down. Here comes the number 8 batter. Fielder Jones. He's 0 for 2. Lefty lefty matchup. Bench sets the target. The pitch to Fielder Jones. There's a shot to right. So the inning stays alive. Fielder Jones singles. And now here comes the pitcher. Don't rock the boat, baby Jay Hughes. He is two for two and pitching a marvelous game. Can he go three for three? Gullet hopes not. He's up to 100 pitches. He deals to his counterpart Hughes. They throw over. Jones gets back. Whoa, Jones was leaning. Perez just applied the tag a second too late. Keeler on deck. Bench sets the target. The pitch to use. Line shot to Morgan. And the side is retired. Hughes has hit the ball and the screws all three times. But now he's two for three. We go to the top of the seventh. The 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers for the 1975 Cincinnati Reds. Nothing. Due up for the big red machine. Geronimo, Concepcion, and possibly a pinch hitter for Gullet. Cesar Geronimo's 0 for 2. The pitch to Geronimo. Line shot to Dolan. Johnny on the spot once again. Bill Dolan. So that's one out. Here's Davey Concepcion. He's doubled and walked. He is one for one. Gullet on deck. They haven't seen a pinch hitter yet. 
Anderson, Sparky Anderson playing his cards close to the vest. Farrell wiggles his fat fingers, sets the target, the pitch is smooth fielding, Davey Concepcion. Concepcion grounds to his counterpart, Dolan, who fires a strike to Anderson, two down. And will Gullet hit? He's 0 for 2. Yes, he will. Ground ball, Dolan ranging, backhand, strong throw, and the side is retired. Don't hit the ball to Dolan. We go to the bottom of seventh to a joyous, rocket, raucous crowd here in the borough of Brooklyn at Washington Park. They play take me out to the ball game. I don't care if I ever go back for its root, root, root for the Dodgers. If they lose, it's a shame for it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. as Duke Farrell leads the song. All right, due up for the Dodgers, the top of the order, Keeler, Daly, and Kelly. Farrell, the big smile on his face, goes back to the dugout. Keeler is one for three. He awaits the gullet offering, pitch homeward bound. Keeler, swing and a miss. The ball is dropped by Bench. He throws to Perez to complete the strikeout. One down. And here's Tom Daly. He's two for two. He's singled twice and walked in his last plate appearance. Kelly on deck. Gullet's ready to work. The wind up and the pitch to Daly. And he walked him. Brooklyn would really like to push that fifth run across. Again, a grand slam if you have five runs. Cannot tie the game. And here's Kelly. Daly's at first. Perez holding him on. Hit and run. There goes Daly. Kelly swings. Base hit the right. Daly hits third and will head home. It's going to be a triple for Kelly. It's going to be an inside the park home run. An inside. Was it an inside the park? Yes. An inside the park home run. Unbelievable. Kelly with an inside the park home run. That is dead ball. Old school baseball, folks. Six nothing. They're going crazy here in the borough of Brooklyn. Crazy, I tell you. Duke Farrell just did a cartwheel. That fat man can sure move. Unbelievable. Let's watch that inside the park, Homer. Once again, hit and run. Daly's off to the races. Kelly finds the gap. Griffey had trouble playing in right, and they waved him around. I don't think even if Bench was able to corral that, corral that throw, that it would have mattered. So an inside the park homer for Kelly. Six nothing Dodgers. And here comes Casey. Doc Casey one for three. Gullet on the verge of being KO'd. The pitch to the Doc. And Casey strikes out. Gullet a bit tired now. 121 pitches. Two outs, six nothing Dodgers. Here's Donlin. Donlin has been a vacuum cleaner at short, but he's 0 for 3 at the plate. Farrell's on deck. The pitch to Donlin. Fly ball, deep left field. Foster in the corner. He makes the catch, and the side is retired. But this crowd is still a buzz on the inside. The park home run by Kelly. We go to the top of the eighth, six nothing. 1899 Dodgers over the big red machine, Cincinnati Reds. Wow. The fans here in Brooklyn are enjoying it. Top of the order for the Reds. Rose, Griffey, and Morgan to face Hughes. Rose is one for two. The pitch to Charlie Hustle. And there's a shot to left center field. Reds need base runners, that's for sure. Appa Bryan's wondering, are we sure? Did Kelly touch all the bases? Uh, he must have. No protest was lodged. Rows at first, and here comes Ken Griffey. Use deals to Griffey. Ground ball, Casey, Casey. Poor play, and it's going to be an infield hit. Oh, boy. Red's got something going here. Two hits, two on, no outs for little Joe Morgan. Morgan's 0 for 2. Use walks around the mound. Now he's back on the bird perch. Looks in at Farrell. The pitch to little Joe Morgan. 
Morgan, fly ball, right, left, center field, and Kelly makes the running catch. Rose does not tag up. He got a little too far away from that bag. A great running catch by Kelly in left center. One away. And here's Johnny Bench. Bench has struck out twice and singled. Bench, that crucial moment in the third. Bases loaded, two outs, and he whiffed. Kurt Berglund says cartwheel. Yikes, yes, he did a cartwheel. Our man, Duke Farrell. Here's the pitch to Bench. Fly ball. Kelly going back in left. Makes the catch. Will Rose tag? He does. The throw is not in time. But there are two down now. Runners on the corners. The Reds on the verge of another squander. And it's up to Tony Perez. 6-0 Dodgers. The Reds trying to get on the board here. Perez is 0 for 3. He has flown to shallow left, struck out, and flown to deep left. Farrell goes through the signs. Hughes quickly nods his head. Arms down to his chest. The windup and the pitch to TP. Tony Perez. Grab base hit up the middle, and the Reds are finally on the board. <laughs> Excuse me. Rose scores from third. Griffey goes first to third, and at six to one. And here comes Speak Softly, carry a big boomstick, George Foster. Foster's 0 for 3. If he goes yard, it's a 6-4 ball game. Hughes not happy with himself, but he's got to get it out of his mind. Foster 0 for 3. He has grounded out three times to Dolan at short. He awaits the Hughes offering. Don't rock the boat, baby. Here's the pitch. To the boomstick of George Foster. No! Wow! Sparky Anderson at the last second will send up Dan Dreesen. Dreesen for the 75 Reds. Dreesen, an underrated player. Uh, especially in uh, years after when the Red Machine got old. He batted 281 and 75. Seven homers, 38 ribbies against right-handed pitching, 299. So they go to Dreesen to try to get something going here. As Robbie Wartburg says, bless you. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Todd B says, Rose did not want to tag up. The fix is on. Here's the pitch to Dreesen. Ground ball up the middle. Hughes snares it. Throws to Anderson. The side is retired. The Reds squander another golden opportunity. They do get one, though. Go to the bottom of the eighth, six to one, Brooklyn. And there's our boy, Duke Farrell. Farrell, I think he has some mustard on his shirt. And gullet, 124 pitches. Anderson sticking with him. This is mind-numbing to me. Duke Farrell's 0 for 2. He'll be followed by Anderson and Jones. Here's the pitch to the Duke of Flatbush. Ground ball back to Gullet. Over to Perez. One away. And that's it. Anderson finally takes out Don Gullett. He's in line for a horrific loss. Coming in is Fred Norman. He looks constipated. Norman, 12 and 4 with a 3.73 earned run average in 1975. He's a lefty. And John Anderson's 0 for 2. He's glad to see Gullett go. Jones is on deck. Norman's done with his warm up tosses, has a quick word with Bench. Bench back behind the plate. He's ready to work. He deals to Anderson. Ground ball to Morgan. Morgan throws to Perez. Two down. Scoring at home, four to three. So two outs, base is empty for Fielder Jones. He's one for three. Lefty, lefty matchup. Here's the pitch to Fielder Jones. Line shot to Geronimo, and he makes the catch. We go to the top of the ninth. The Cincinnati Reds got to get busy. They trail by five. It's Brooklyn six, Cincinnati one. Brooklyn three outs away from a joyous victory here at Washington Park in the borough of Brooklyn on opening day in the greatest teams league. Geronimo, Concepcion, and probably a pinch hitter for Norman. Cesar Geronimo's 0 for 3. Use looking for a complete game victory. The pitch to Cesar Geronimo. Fly ball to right. Keeler's there. He makes the catch. One down. Dodgers two outs away. Here's Davey Concepcion. He's one for two. Hughes works quickly to Concepcion. Oh, wow. They go to Doug Flynn. They're going to give Doug Flynn an at-bat here. 
I wouldn't have, but they're giving Doug Flynn an at-bat. 268, one homer, 20 ribbies. The pitch to Flynn. Ground ball to Daly. Daly to Anderson. Two down. Dodgers one out away from an opening day victory. And here comes the pinch hitter, Daryl Chaney. 219, two home runs and two ribbies. Pinch hitting for Norman. Hughes works quickly to Chaney. Ground ball. Dahlin has it. Quick release to Anderson. Ball game over. The Brooklyn Dodgers of 1899 defeat the 75 Cincinnati Reds 6-1 on opening day here at Washington Park. A great effort by Hughes and company. Don't rock the boat, baby. So I'm surprised by that victory, but I'm happy I managed the Dodgers. All right, let's go to the stat report. The screen will go black for a moment, and then the stat report will be up. And we'll start with the pitching. I'd like to thank everyone who watched the game. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun call, and we all love Duke Farrell, as I do believe he did have mustard uh, on his jersey. So thank you to everyone, Kurt Berglund. Todd B, Robbie Wartburg, Philip Reynolds, Appa Bryan, Jake Cruz, Braves for Life. Thank you very much. I, th I think I missed you on the way in. Check out his wonderful channel. Clinton Parks, Larry Harris. Sorry your Reds lost. And Dale Longsdale. And we continue to scroll up. Scroll up. Randy Luxenberg, good to have you here, my friend. Sorry I missed you earlier. And I don't know if it's going to let me scroll up any farther. We had lots of people in the chat all having fun, talking a little baseball, having a little fun with the game. That's what our community is all about. And if anyone wants a ball that Pete Rose was hit with, it's only going to cost you a signed ball, $99.99, as Todd B., our sideline reporter, has informed us. AJPS12, thank you very much for stopping by. ID Gesture, another wonderful channel. Sportsman Z, thank you. Check out those channels. They're very lovely channels, as we love to say. CP Cards and Dice, thank you very much. And Random Human 19 and Table Top Baseball Plus. And I think we got everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, to the box score. Whew, here we go. Gullet, they stuck with him a little longer than I thought they were going to. Seven and a third, nine hits, six runs, all of them earned, one homer. That was the inside the Parker. Uh, four walks, four Ks. Norman pitched the final two-thirds, scoreless. Hughes went the distance as he rocked the Cincinnati Reds boat. Nine innings, six hits, one run it was earned. Three walks, four Ks. Rose was two for three for the Reds. For the Dodgers of 1899, Daly was two for two. Kelly, two for three. He had the inside the park home run. Let's go to the batting. As we stated, Rose 2 for 3 with a run scored. Griffey 1 for 3 with a walk and a strikeout. Morgan 0 for 3 with a walk. Bench 1 for 4. He struck out with the bases loaded. That was huge in the third, I believe it was. Uh, he struck out twice. Perez 1 for 4 with a ribby. The only ribby. He struck out once. Foster 0 for 3. Dreesen, the pinch hitter, went into play left after 0 for 1. Geronimo 0 for 4. Concepcion 1 for 2 with a walk. Flynn, the pinch hitter, 0 for 1. Gullet, the pitcher, 0 for 3. Norman pitched and not hit. Cheney, the pinch hitter, ended the game. He was 0 for 1. The Reds in defeat, 32 at-bats, 1 run, 6 hits, 1 ribby, 3 walks, 4 Ks, and a double. For the Brooklyn Dodgers of 1899... Willie Keeler, one for four, the run scored two ribbies, two strikeouts. Daly, two for two, with a run scored two walks, so he's on base four times. Kelly, player of the game, probably. I bet you they give it to use, though. Uh, had the inside the park home run, was two for three, three ribbies, and a run scored. Casey, one for four, he struck out twice. Dolan played absolutely marvelous. Short was 0 for four at the plate. 
And there's our boy, Duke Farrell, the catcher, mustard stain, jersey and all. 0 for 3 with a run scored. He had a walk and a cartwheel, and he sang. He led the fans in Take Me Out to the Ball Game here in Brooklyn. Anderson was 0 for 3 with a run scored and a walk. Jones 1 for 4. That's Fielder Jones. And the pitcher, he's definitely going to be player of the game. Hughes was 2 for 3, a run scored and a ribby. Dodgers, 30 at-bats, 6 runs, 9 hits, 6 ribbies, 4 walks, 4 Ks, and the inside the park home run. Player of the game, Jay Hughes, the pitcher. Cincinnati left 8 runners on base, Brooklyn 5. Here's the recap. Brooklyn, in the second, sent nine batters to plate, and that was pretty much the ball game as Gullett just struggled. And that was a hiccup inning for him. They scored four runs on four hits, two walks, and an error. You singled, knocking in Farrell, one nothing Brooklyn. Willie Keeler singled, knocking in two, three nothing Brooklyn. Joe Kelly singled, scoring Keeler, four nothing. Then Brooklyn would add two more runs. On a hit and one walk, Joe Kelly had an inside the park two-run homer, so it was a, and it was six nothing. The Reds would break up the shutout in the eighth. Perez singled in rows, six to one. That's how the ball game ended. Tom Daly for Brooklyn, two for two, two walks. Joe Kelly for Brooklyn, two for three, a home run, three ribbies. Hughes with the win, Gullet with the loss. All right, so that's opening day in the borough of Brooklyn. Ken Castro, bad Bill Dolan had to get to the racetrack. <laughs> How you doing, Kenny? Our good friend from the great state of Rhode Island. Appa Bryant says, thank you, Al, for bringing the 1899 Brooklyn Dodgers to us. You're welcome. We'll have a few more. We might even do another game. It's only 10 o'clock, and I have to wait because my dad's watching football, and then I have to get him situated. So I might as well do another game. I might do card and dice or 83 tournament. I don't know. Thank you, everyone who watched, and have patience. When you watch my streams, I will. There will be delays in our stream sometimes when I have to help my father. So, thank you very much. Merry, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, God bless, health and happiness. Brooklyn defeats Cincinnati six to one. You know it's coming, folks. Peace. Love you all.